Hi, and welcome back. Remember this china closet? We started it last week and we did the bottom and that's how far we got. Here's the top. Just to remind you, we had the glass doors on there. And this week what we're doing is taking off those glass doors, taking that mirror out of the back and making it look a little more farmhousey per the client's request. So I get started by removing those beautiful glass doors. Now don't get upset <laughs> because this is going to be more functional for her, but we are going to repurpose those doors and this is going to end up being a piece of wall art for her living room. So it's all good. No uh, beautiful leaded glass doors were harmed in this experiment. And then I carefully remove the back of the china closet top, the hutch, um, because I know there's mirrors in there. So they have all these plates holding it in, so I don't have any way of knowing whether the mirror is in one or two pieces. So I just have to very delicately proceed with this operation to make sure that I don't break any mirrors. Even though we're not going to use them, I still don't want to clean up any broken glass. Okay, good news, I was able to get it out safely. So now we have this back that we're going to repurpose. So first I'm gonna go ahead and use some Dixie Belle mud and close up the holes that were left by the hanging doors. Also, I'm gonna cover up these holes that, uh, these screw holes that will now be seen in the new arrangement. Dixie Belle mud is so easy to use. You just put it on and then you sand it off. So I also patched just a little piece on the back of this where it was uh, coming up. So I am painting this piece that we are repurposing from the back in fluff. That is Dixie Belle's chalk mineral paint in fluff and just putting one coat on here because I'm going to do a stamping technique on here to make it look like barn wood. So I'm not concerned about really good coverage because you won't really notice it. Nikki's in the background making some jewelry so every now and then you'll see a little flicker of a flame. She's just uh, burning off the edge of her cord back there too so it's not a not a smoking party. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to have some fun. And I'm going to use the uh, Barnwood stamp from IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. And I'm using that silk paint, the same silk paint we painted the, the uh, hutch in the, the um, buffet with. And I'm just using a big brush. Now, I typically would use a brayer for this, but I could not find my brayer. So I'm just using a big brush and just quickly um, painting the stamp. So this is kind of a far out view and we're going to show you a little bit of a close-up view uh, shortly here. But these are just like planks. 
and they're just like panels of wood. So we just delicately press it down and you get an impression. So I continue to do this until we get the whole thing covered. This stamp's really cool because it has little uh, marks that you can put in between the boards that look like nails. It also has knots, but I couldn't find my knots. So I'm sad about that, but um, it's all good. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find them after this project's complete. So here's a better view for you so you can see what it actually looks like. See the different grains in the woods? So they kind of, you kind of just want to mix it up a little bit and just keep making those impressions. And it really makes a cool image. So realistic looking, right? I mean, obviously it's a faux finish, but it's still the realism in those planks is pretty accurate. <laughs> From a distance, it, it makes a good impression. And I just uh, staggered them and mixed them up a little bit so it doesn't look like uh, bricks or, or just like you just went one after the other. So I like the different ones with the grain and the kerf marks and just really cool. So there it is, all finished. Really does kind of look like wood, don't you think? And especially once you get it inside the piece. So that took me a little bit to get it in there just like it was. Um, and now I am using the white wax again just like we did on the base of the piece and getting those details. So there's not a whole lot to get on the top, but there's some marks that imitate the ones that were on the base. But this uh, section is a sort of carved looking area that is new uh, on this piece. So it's front and center and I think it does complement. I considered asking whether we'd like to fill that in but I feel like uh, since this was um, the homeowner's mother-in-law that you know those kind of things are just like memories and you don't want to change it completely. So I think that'll kind of um, be a nice reminder and also a nice accent. So there was a shelf in there. So, you know, it just didn't quite look right being glass. So instead of buying wood for in it and having to worry about cutting it and everything and measuring, I'm just using Dixie Bell's slick stick. And that is a pretty slick uh, move if you ask me. But we're just painting that glass so that we can make it look like wood. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the stamp on it, but just use the black that was used throughout the piece. And that is one way to uh, transform that shiny glass and update it for our farmhouse uh, china closet here. So then the glass got dried and now I'm using silk and anchor again to uh, put a coat of paint on the glass. 
So I'm only using one coat of paint on this side because remember this does have a sealer built in. And then when that's dry, I'm going to flip it and do the same thing on the other side. So that way, uh, either way you see, you'll see the, uh, the black shelf. Now remember, when we flip this, we're going to see the slick stick on the underside. It's going to look white. So now we're putting another coat of slick stick on the top of the shelf. After that's done, I come back again with the silk and put a coat of, of the silk on there. Now, I will tell you my little secret, um, which <laughs> was a happy accident. As I always say, there's no accidents. I know I probably say that every week, but it's true. So I didn't quite let the silk dry long enough because I was kind of in a hurry. Not the silk, rather, the slick stick, okay? So keeping in mind that um, the slick stick has is a bonding primer, so guessing that it has some sort of adhesion property, kind of like a glue, what happened was when I put this coat of silk on, it sort of dried in a crackle finish, which was totally appropriate for our farmhouse. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I'm going to show you a close-up here. But uh, I was pretty happy with the result on that. <laughs> so again, I only did uh, one coat on that. I just came back in and touched it up a little bit, but I kind of wanted to preserve that little crackle that happened because I thought it was a pretty cool uh, result. So here's what that looks like. Just a little bit of crackle in the finish. So, are you ready? It's all put together, and the top is on the bottom, and here's what she looks like. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you are interested in purchasing Dixie Belle products, there's a link in the description box, and you order directly from Dixie Belle, but I get a little spiff, and it doesn't cost you any extra, so it's a win-win. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.